If you analyze what you need to practice, mm -hmm. you will not waste time playing. Yes. But but people sometimes don't know how to do it. One day I, I told one guy online, in fact our next workshop will be exactly how to practice. I look forward to it. This is in February. In February we will we will say how to practice and don't waste time. Which is just because we're already grown up. Guitar is already difficult to play. Yes. And if, and if we don't get uh, fast enough, then we'll, we'll, it will come the end of the world and we still don't know uh, what to do. So, this how, very important. this is the most important thing, is you. So how is about you, and what is about something which is external. Because the process of learning is always different in, 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 in different people. You saw in, in the workshop, yeah. Have some people learn by reading, for instance, or took they some take many notes. Some others don't take many notes. Like Edward was was taking notes all the time. Why? Because he had his classical guitar teacher. So his way is he's also used to that. It also depends on what are you used to do. Of course. If you are used to learn by ear or or just uh, repeating things, or if you are used to analyze stuff and do an effort to read, or to write, or read on from reading music, from reading tabs, emphasis on tabs or emphasis on the thing. This 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 is this is how you see. So it's different for each one, but this one method I created this method of Spanish guitar based on Paco de Lucia, which works for everyone, because. We do address what is the personal individual capacity of each one. That's why in Skype I see I don't give you the same medicine than, than others. Mm -hmm. Because maybe you are better in rhythm and have not very good rasgue or have a good thumb playing, but maybe someone is weak in picado or someone is weak in, weak in rhythm or weak in chords. And then, then you have to assess that. The assessment is important. Mm -hmm. and this is all about how. Without assessment, how, without teacher also, without following a clear method, then we cannot get very far. This is, this, this, I said it all the time, this do it yourself. That's right. And be confused forever because you will think one person say one thing, the other, other, and then that's how they go in YouTube, they watch this, 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 and then do one thing. Mm -hmm. One guy just came a couple of months ago with a book, he was doing his thesis of, of scales wow. in, the, in the university somewhere. And then he had a book with 1,000 fingerings of different scale. I was impressed by this book. I said, oh my god, this all this thing. But then the question was asked that, that okay, what, what you can use of this? That's right. How many of these you handled it to use it? He said, no, this I, am, I have not tried yet. Ah. <laughs> Which means this is how. <laughs> what is the book? But if, because he wanted to inquire how, you know, Satriani, do a place like this, the, Pentatonic scale, Satriani was like this, the McLaughlin this way, the other way, well, this is very good. But now you, what about you? Otherwise we become only analytic. 
and then don't play. It depends on your purpose. If you are a researcher, musicologist, then that's, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Master, I have a few questions. They go in that order. Uh, first thing I need to know, what is the importance of how to practice? There is practice and playing. People sit there and they think they are practicing. Actually, they just play songs mm -hmm. or play stuff. And then they don't know that, that it's not going to upgrade their playing. If you play the pieces you already play well, and don't try to, to learn anything new, which means these materials which are out of your control, not yet in, in control, then you become a stagnant in one place, you will not upgrade your plane. There's no growth. Growth will become only, but that's why people don't know the difference between practicing and playing. So they play. They play and they think they are practicing oh. and then the next day they have the same rhythmical problems. The things of practice have to be addressed by getting a proper objective evaluation of what you need. Because of course what I, when I practice rhythm or technique I do different things than you. Mm -hmm. Because we have different levels and different approaches, so therefore you need to, to get first guidance on, on, on an objective uh, like an exam to know how is your rhythm, how is your technique, how is your theory, how is your improvisation. You need um, the oversight. Eh? You need the oversight. Yeah, yes. because otherwise if we try to say these things just alone, then they, they, they never, they think, well, yes, I am good in rhythm. And then when you put the metronome, ah. <laughs> here we have a problem. So then therefore, we need to have some help there. That's why there is this coaching program in Skype, what we do, coaching thing. Great. You sit there and then I check the material you are doing, how you are practicing properly. Because the, the difference of practicing and playing, people don't distinguish. I am not against playing. If you want to play, just play. But then don't think you are practicing now. If you play stuff that you know, that is not practice. That is playing. Sí, el loco que descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando de qué armonías están en cada momento ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular por ejemplo el flamenco, el flamenco originalmente es una música popular la música del pueblo andalucí pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música. 